Here, we are going to look at the motion of Mars as seen from the Earth. So, let us plot the three bodies involved here, the Sun, Earth and Mars. Okay. So, here are the three players, Sun, Earth and Mars. Now, we are going to plot the distances between them. The distance between Sun and Earth is, if you take it as one unit, and it is indeed called as one astronomical unit. Then the distance between Mars and Sun is about one and a half times that. Okay, so 1.5 astronomical units. Now about the motion. Uh, we know that Earth orbits the Sun, but because we are standing on the Earth, we are observing the motion from Earth, we will not see Earth's motion. Instead, we will see Earth is stationary and the Sun will appear to orbit the Earth. So, here is uh, the Sun's apparent orbit around the Earth. Okay. So, the Sun will appear to go around the Earth uh, in this manner. But that is not going to change the fact that Mars is going to orbit the Sun. Okay. So, we will show Mars's orbit and you can see it is centered around the Sun as expected. And then how will the motion appear? The Sun will appear to go around the Earth and while it does so, it is going to drag the orbit of Mars and all other planets okay, along with it. So, this is the kind of motion we will see. Okay. So, the Sun is going around the Earth and uh, it is dragging the orbit of Mars and Mars is following that orbit. It looks very complex, but uh, mind you, there are just two simple motions. Sun appearing to go around the Earth and Mars going around the Sun. Okay. These two are combined to produce this complex motion. Now, let us plot the path, okay. the path of Mars. And while we do so, uh, let us also keep track of the time. So, here we are going to show uh, the years in terms of Earth years okay, and Mars years. As you know, Mars is uh, you know, outside of Earth's orbit. So, it is going to take longer to go around the sun once. So, Mars's years are little longer, about 88 percent longer than the Earth years. Okay. So, let us set it in motion again. And now, you can see we are tracing the path. And here is something interesting. Okay. The first loop has appeared. Whenever a celestial body traces a path with this kind of loops, at the bottom of this loop, you know, the inner tip of this loop, the body appears to go backward. So, this particular body, you know, Mars, will appear to pause in its forward motion momentarily, start going backward and actually, uh, you know, uh, make a backward motion. And then, it will again start going forward. By the way, here is something interesting. We are very close to the beginning of this path. Okay. It may appear, okay, unless you look very closely, that the path is closed. How many years have uh, passed by? About 15 Earth years or 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 Mars years. Okay. So, 15 Earth years or 8 Mars years later, we seem to have completed the path. And see how many loops it has formed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. 7 loops. 8 Mars years, 7 plus 8, 15, and 15 Earth years have passed by. Uh, by the way, this is not very accurate though, okay, to say that it is closed. It, it, is, it hasn't closed. Okay. There is a little gap which is going to make a difference. So, let us set it in motion again. Let us, uh, you know, uh, let it go further. And now, you can see, it is again forming the loop, but it is not retracing the old loops. Okay. The new loops are little, uh, you know, displaced from the old ones. So, we are getting more loops here. Uh, let, let it continue. Uh, we are close to 25 Earth years and we have we are not nowhere close to completion. When it completes, we will be getting a symmetrical figure and the path will really close that time. Okay, to so keep going. By the way, at the bottom of this loop, as I said, uh, Mars will appear to go backward and that phase of Mars motion is called the, the retrograde motion, okay? the backward motion of Mars. All planets show this kind of motion. In fact, that is the reason 
why people notice them is that these celestial bodies are moving forward, they pause, move backward for a while, and again start going forward again. By the way, we are very close to completing the path, and there we go. Okay. Uh, the path is closed, and you can see a very symmetric, beautiful uh, path is traced by Mars. Uh, how many Earth year, years have elapsed? So 45, 6, and 7. So 47 Earth years and 25 Mars years. Okay. At that point of time, uh, we will be getting these many loops. And in fact, uh, without counting, uh, you can tell me how many loops are there. Previously, we saw after 15 Earth years and 8 Mars years, we had 15 minus 8, 7 loops. So here we have 45 Earth years and 25 Mars years. So 45 minus 25, 22 loops will be there. You can pause the video and count it yourself. Thank you for watching.